Welcome to How to Copy a Summer Reader Program. We're going to cover three different ways to clone or copy an existing program. The first is to click Edit Program to choose an existing program. We'll click the Copy Program button. I'll call this Cloned Program. Note you can choose to include patron data if you wish, though in most cases I would advise you not to do so. Click Save Copy, and the clone program will appear in your program list. I'll go back into it. I've now created a copy of an existing program with all of the same settings and information. And I'll delete that from my list. A second way to clone or copy a program is to do so with an inactive program. I'll click Inactive Programs. This is a great way to copy a program from a past year and to use the same settings for a new year. I'll click Copy Program. Give it a name and click Save Copy. Again, I can choose to include patrons or not. Now, the program will show up at the bottom of my inactive programs list. To activate that program, I would click on it, set it to active, and then click Save. The program now will appear on my edit program list as an active program. I'll now delete this program. The final way that you can copy or clone a program is for use on a different summer reader site. So click on the program you want to copy or clone. Click the export button. Choose whether you'd like to export just the program settings or the style sheet, the way the program appears visually. In this case I'll copy both. And I'll click the export button. Now the program will ask me to save a file or to open a new or to open the file. In this case I will save it. And the program is now saving. I'm going to open the containing folder. And you'll see the program has saved as a text document which I will open with my notepad and you'll see there's just a bunch of computer code. Now I can take this program and open it in another instance of Summer Reader. I can go to System Maintenance and then Import I'll open my text file. I'll click Select All, Copy, Paste, and then Import. And the program, the program has now imported. And if I look at my active, if I look at my active sites, you'll see import program one, and that's how you clone a program. 